Most of the time, it's niggas that you would never know. They would walk up to you, can I get your number? Looking around and shit, making sure nobody is watching. Before I got any work done, the client would walk out on me. You gotta have titties and body. They wanna see a pretty ass girl with a big dick. What we usually do as trannies, we be broken down, but we need to stand out. You gotta be the bitch with the biggest boobs, the biggest body. There's some guys that they just want to fuck you. Yeah. They don't want to touch the dick. They don't want to see the dick. They don't want to be reminded that you were once born male. A lot of us are secrets to many powerful people. She's not aware of the fact that her black successful husband is upstairs in their beautiful condo down in Tribeca, laid up with a black trans woman. In no way are they there to protect us. Niggas can't accept being with a trans woman in public because it's their ego and they gonna feel the world is gonna belittle them for what they like. Yeah. Violence doesn't happen before the orgasm, it happens after. I ran across this girl online and I was like, man, she bad. Oh, she's transgender. And I was like, how? I was like, she, she likes Beyonce fine. When we was growing up, we was always taught you can't, you can't be like this, that. you can't be that way. It's not accepted in gang life at all. You better be a tough gay nigga, cause they gonna tease you nigga. You can't be soft <laughs> in gay. In this game, you know, that's where either you get out of it or you end up dead, you end up hot. This is survival work. This is risky shit. I want people to understand that it's okay just being something that you was born to be. It's guy after guy who's in denial. A black man should be this way, and a black woman should be that way. Kiss my ass.